I'm Steph Strickland with GeekWire Studios. We're going to talk about what AI means to the analyst today. I'd like to introduce you right now to Nate Nichols. He is the Vice President of Product Management at Tableau, really focusing on Gen AI strategy. So let's talk a little bit about what AI means for analysts today. Right. Yeah, so AI means a lot for analysts today, and we're, like the way I think of it is kind of like an Iron Man suit. So we're trying to keep the analysts at the center of it, right? They're the hero. They're still in, always in control, but we're helping them give them more scale and really help giving them more sort of superpowers with AI. When you, you already talked about how it is going to change their roles, can you further clarify that? What I hear you saying is that workflows actually become faster and more streamlined because the, the tedious parts are now being handled by Gen AI. Yeah, so that's a lot of it. The kind of, you know, creating calculations, describing data sources, the stuff that nobody wants to do and haven't done, we can help with that. And there's also sort of bigger shifts with things like Pulse, where a lot of analysts today are creating kind of the same dashboards over and over, these operational dashboards, or they're answering these like low value questions, often from their execs who have them on Slack speed dial and can get them questions. And so for that, with Pulse, they can sort of offload a lot of that work to the AI. The, the analysts are creating the metrics, they're accountable for what's true and how everything is calculated, but then they can sort of get a lot of that off their plate, which frees up time for them to do more interesting, strategic, ad hoc analysis. I'm going to go out of order because you talked about the executives. The way executives view Gen AI versus the way the analyst does are slightly different. Can you talk about those roles and how Tableau fits into that picture? Yeah, so on the analyst side, it's more about creating things. How can we can help, help them create things faster, better, more technically proficient things that maybe they could do before. And for the execs and like that kind of bigger business user group, people that aren't analysts, it's all about the consumption side. How do we help them understand what's going on really quickly, give them suggestions about what to do about it, synthesize answers that are pulling from different data sources. So for them, it's really about how do we help them and act on something and understand something really quickly. For you, for this conference, how has the buzz been, especially around some of the uh, Gen AI developments that Tableau is talking about? Yeah, it's been awesome. And it's been cool because like we're, we're very open about what we're showing. It's all real. Everything we're showing is like real code. And I think people really appreciate that it's not it's not just Figma. It's not just the happy path. You see sometimes like, hey, the co-pilot, it's not always going to understand you. And that's, that's real. And that's important that we acknowledge that, that our users know that. It's going to improve. We're investing. But we're, I'm really excited that we're showing things that are real and that are going to be GA'd very soon. And people love it. And they're really responding to it and our, our transparency around how it works. Transparency is definitely key for so many things as we move into this uh, sort of uh, new realm, if you will. We've talked a lot about where Gen AI is being used. Where is it not being used? Yeah, so um, it's really important where it's not being used because Gen AI is amazing, but it's like a tool that's really good at some things and bad at other things. And like one of the tricky bits about it is it always sounds really good, right? It's always natural and fluid and very confident sound, even when it's just making stuff up. And so we're really intentional about where we don't let it do things. And that's anything around like the math and the numbers and pulse. When you see numbers, those are that's calculated by code that our engineers have tested. It's using the same code path that draws visualizations in Tableau today. So we're super confident in the actual numbers and what the, the content we're providing. We're, we're providing. We love Gen AI because it helps things sound really natural, right? And it makes everything sound better and easier to read. But we're smart about where we're using it there and we're not using it to do the math or we're not using it to sort of black box things in Einstein Copilot for Tableau. Everything it's doing, you can see right in the UI. And so it's really important to us that we, again, we keep that transparency and that it's not doing anything that you don't have access to and therefore can't really trust. Your depth of knowledge in this space is, is really impressive. So I do have to ask you, where do you see your five-year crystal ball? And you notice I said five years because I feel like it, it's hard to go beyond that right now with how fast it's developing. What do you see coming? I, I see there's a lot coming. Like I've been, I've been talking about this. I'm a big believer that Gen AI is going to be hugely impactful to all of life. I've got three young kids at home. I think about them all the time. It's like, you guys are going to grow up in a completely different world than we did. Um, and so there's going to be a lot coming, but for us, it's always going to stay rooted in the users. It's going to stay rooted in the, uh, the analysts that have come up with Tableau, the data fam, the business users that they're trying to serve. We're never going to do it just for AI's sake, but there's going to be a lot of capabilities that we can provide. And we really see, you know, today we have Copilot and that's awesome. And it sits there and then you ask it a question and it does something. And that's exactly the right place to start, but over time that's going to become more and more of a consultative co-pilot where it's, it's kind of jumping in with stuff and it's saying, hey, like you didn't know to pull in this particular column in the data, but really interesting things happen when you do. And so it'll evolve so it's almost more of like a partner or an assistant than something that just kind of sits there. Nate Nichols with Tableau, thank you so much for making the time. Yeah, thank you, Steph. I'm Steph Strickland with GeekWire Studios.